Hey guys, it's Ernesto. Welcome back to another Monday Critique. I hope you're having a fantastic Monday. I'm having a great Monday. Guys, I'm really looking forward to this Monday Critique. I hope you are too. I will see you after this interview. If you guys want to submit your image to be critiqued, please join our Facebook group. It's called Fine Art Photography and Modeling. In that group, I created a specific thread where you could submit your images to be critiqued. <coughs> hey guys, welcome. Hey, I have to enjoy myself somehow, you know? It's just me in a room with a camera. So I'm just trying to enjoy myself. So I'm hoping you guys enjoy it as well. But anyways, we have two, two fantastic images to critique today. The first image that we're gonna critique is by this gentleman. Thank you very much, Jose, for submitting your image. We're gonna jump straight into it. All right, so now let's start out with lighting in this image. So from a lineup perspective, I think he did a pretty bang up job. I think it was awesome, well executed, flawless. I think it was great. I don't think I said that enough. It was great. So with that being said, let's talk about what he did here and how he did it, okay? It's very simple, okay? So it's a matter of just utilizing a very, very slow shutter speed and utilizing a flash to help freeze the subject okay and you also utilize i believe a constant light i guess to bring in some of that ambient light into the shot to help blur you know and get some of that light effect that you're seeing in this shot so awesome job there uh, with the use of light chris so if you guys wanted to do something similar to what chris did just get a flash put it in a second curtain put your camera as far as the shutter is concerned and a very very slow shutter i believe he had it on 0.1 seconds i think I, I probably have that wrong but anyways put your shot on a very very slow um, shutter speed and have a flash and that flash it could be a speed light it could be a strobe that can help freeze your subject once you fire off um, your shot okay so just keep that in mind if you want to go and reproduce something like what Jose did here. All right, so that being said, lighting is great. We're going to move on. So now let's talk about the pose in this image. So from a posing perspective, awesome job there. When working with, with dancers, I find that dancers give you the most wonderful lines and some incredible poses that you would have never thought of on your own. So that's why I love working with dancers um, to help you come up with these wonderful work of art. So kudos to you and the subject in this image. The only thing I would say with respect to the posing in this image is the following. The arm is blocking her face. And I think if the arm wasn't blocking her face, I think it would have made this image a little bit stronger. So. I would say if you have any other image in this series without her hands blocking her face, I would say pull that image out and look at it a little bit closer. Um, I don't know if you chose this image because the pose, the lines and all that stuff was great in this particular image and that's why you chose it. But if you have any other image and the pose is similar and the, the lines are similar, but you could see her face. I would say choose that image over and above this particular image because it would make the image a little bit stronger. And that's all I would have to say about the pose in respect to this image. So I hope that was helpful. Moving on. So now let's move on to the composition of this image. So from a compositional perspective, overall, I think the composition is great. There's only one little thing that I would change to help with the composition and that's to add just a little bit of breathing room of the subject's toes between um, the frame the left the right side of the frame camera right if you look at camera right of the frame you will notice how her toes is very very close to the edge of the frame so just adding a little bit of breathing room between um, her toes and the edge of the frame 
would enhance this shot a lot more. So that's my only suggestion there. I hope it was helpful. All right, now moving on to image number two. Now this image was submitted by this gentleman. Thank you very much, Reginald. I sincerely appreciate it. I'm not sure if you go by Reginald or Reggie, but I'll call you Reggie. I hope you don't mind. So I just want to talk about a couple of things really quick before I dive into the specifics of this image. When Reggie submitted this image, he then mentioned that he was a little bit embarrassed to submit the image for critique because he found like the other images that was being submitted was so fantastic and his image was not up to par. So I want to say this Reginald, don't be afraid to submit your images because that is how you learn. You learn by getting critique on your work to see what you can improve upon for your next image, okay? So don't be afraid to submit your work because if you don't submit your work, you wouldn't know where you need to grow, right? So you will just continue to be doing the same mistakes over and over. So just be confident, submit your work, get critique on it, see what areas you need to grow. And once you see what areas you need to grow, you will just start to get better and better and better. So my suggestion, don't be embarrassed, okay? Everyone here is here to learn. And that's all I'm gonna say about that, okay? So yeah, don't, just don't be afraid about submitting your work. You will learn, there's, there's no other ways about it. You will learn from your past work that will help you with your future work, okay? So continue to submit your work and don't be embarrassed, okay? So now let's start out with lighting. So from a lighting perspective, here's a couple of things I wanted to say from a lighting perspective. When you walk into a room, okay, the first thing you want to do is to figure out what in the room you could use for lighting your subject, okay? Now, when you're working on a wedding, like to say, right, and you're doing like getting ready shots, okay? When you walk into that room, the, you know, the hotel room, when you walk into that hotel room or whatever room it is that they're getting ready, you're surveying that area and you're looking to see what in that area that you could use for lighting. You're looking for the main light, you're looking for a light that they can enhance the subject, maybe like an accent light. So you're looking for all these different type of light sources that can help you create an image, okay? So in general, for the most part, what people work with or photographers work with or I work with, when I work at, walk into any room, um, is I look for window light. So my suggestion to you is, it seems like in this image, you have a window directly behind the subject, but the curtains are closed behind the subject. So my suggestion is open those curtains and utilize that light source. It seems like either you use an on-camera flash or you may have used like the overhead light that was in the room to help light the subject, which is not the most flattering light that's on this subject right now. So what you want to utilize is that window light. So that's what I would suggest to you. I'm gonna link up here a video to a, another photo shoot that I did of a male subject just utilizing window light and you will see exactly what I mean. You can utilize these curtains to help you narrow the light. Um, it can help increase the light source. It just, there's so much that you could do with a window light. It, you know, it's incredible. So my suggestion is watch that video and also just practice. That is your best friend, practicing. You know, make tons of mistakes and learn from your mistakes. As long as you recognize that you're making a mistake, then you know that, okay, this is, okay, this is a mistake and this is something that we need to fix. So what I'm telling you now is obviously not necessarily mistakes per se, but things that you need to look for, right? So in this particular image, it's just the light on the subject is, is really not that good. So you have to, make sure you have a good light source on the subject 
to help enhance your subject. That's the first thing you want to make sure that you do. Enhance your subject because that's what the light is there for, to enhance that subject. And if it's not enhancing that subject, then it's not really doing its job. So watch that video and you'll get a lot of tips from that. If you have questions, you know, just, you know, hit me up in the group and I happily address those questions or put your comments down below and I'll address those questions as well. But those are the things that I would do in this image to help enhance it just a little bit more with respect to the lighting. But overall, great job. Thank you very much for submitting this image again, okay? All right, so now let's move on to the posing in this image. So from a posing perspective, we really don't have much of a pose going on here. It's more of a, a neutral pose, and I suppose that's okay. But if you really wanted to enhance this pose just a little bit more, my suggestion is to have the subject turn his body away from the camera a little bit more so that his right shoulder is facing towards the camera just a little bit and have him lean in towards the camera just a little bit. So basically bending his upper body from his hip towards the camera just a little bit more. And that will help add just a little bit more drama to the shot. So it creates that illusion, you know, that Arnold Schwarzenegger type um, figure, which is that big chest that he had back in the, back in the day in his prime. Um, big chest, narrow waist. So that pose kind of creates that illusion, which is creating a big chest and a narrow waist. So most of the times that's what I aim for when I'm photographing male subjects is to try to create that illusion, um, which is create that masculine type figure on males. So that's what I would suggest with respect to this pose to help, you know, bring out that masculinity out of this male subject a little bit more. So that would be my overall suggestion with respect to this subject. And I hope that was helpful. light. From a lighting perspective, I gave this image a five. Pose. From a posing perspective, I gave this image a three. Composition. I gave this image a three. Overall, this image received a rating of 3.66 out of five. So now let's move on to image number two. This is Reginald's image. Light. I gave this image a one. Pose. I gave this image a three. Composition. I gave this image a two. Overall, this image received a rating of two out of five. Thank you very much guys for submitting your image. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys got a lot of information from it and I hope the viewers got a lot of information from it as well. Guys, stay encouraged. Please keep submitting your images. It's not only helpful to you, it's helpful to me, it's helpful to the community. It just helps everyone all around. So please keep submitting your images and don't feel intimidated by others who you feel that their images might be perfect. I could tell you this, every image that I took that I have on my website is not perfect. You know, there's always something wrong with it. If you put a image in someone else's hands to say, please, hey, critique this image for me. You know, for the most part, they will always find something that's a little bit off that could be enhanced and fixed just a little bit more. So don't feel, intimidated at all by other people's images, okay? 
All it does is help you get better and not repeat the same mistakes on your next photo shoot. And it also helps the viewers that's viewing this to not repeat the same mistakes on their photo shoots as well. So that's it. Again, thank you very much for submitting your images. That is it. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. Share this video with your friends and family. And please put some feedback down below and let me know what you think about this video. And guys, if you got this far in the video, you must be enjoying this content and you must be enjoying this channel. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next Monday.